So what I would do is would make a mark, a mark on the can. That way I put the mark beside the, the, the letter, what it was. So when I had to fill out the invoice to order some, all I had to do was look to see the can that wasn't there and order it. And, um, and the minute they changed the menus, which, because I, I had to make the tartar sauce and I had to make all these sauces. And so what I just, I mean, just, I had to find other ways, because I couldn't read, to do it. And then some days, um, when I had to work a double shift or a cook called in sick or something, the first person they would ask was me. And I wouldn't say no because I didn't want to lose my job. What kind of jobs did you get? I did cooking. I worked in restaurants, mostly. And uh, how did you, you know, you, I guess a waiter would write out a ticket and put it in a little well, thing. Well, no, I'd have to remember in a couple places I worked, they'd call in the orders and I'd have to remember all these different orders in my head. So that's very different. It's very nerve-wracking. And uh, so this is very hard when you, when you run into these different th situations. But you start coding with stuff like this. But as you get older, you can't. I mean, it gets to you. Hmm. You know, you feel like you're going to crack up after a while. You can't tell them you can't read because you'll be out, out of a job. And then you have to go and fill out another application. And this way you can't. At the time, I couldn't. So it, it's very hard. And somebody that can read and they try to push something on they can they can say well forget it i'm not going to do it it made me sad because um i would pick up a book and read it and don't know the, the meaning of it or, or or no understanding of it and i didn't do nothing about it since i put it down i just left it alone until now until i just sit there in the rut in the corner